I just wrote and directed a film myself nice. about my early years in stand-up, and Jimmy is the lead. Uh, so Jimmy O. Yang, who's in it and who's in Silicon Valley, is in it. And Ken Jeong, ironically, is in it, too. So, oh, really? So I'm kind of like hoping. So is like, your movie out yet? No, I'm editing it right now. Vince Vaughn produced it. Oh, and wow. it's so about cool. my early years in stand-up. So it's literally, it takes place over the course of four days on the road. And it's Jimmy's first time emceeing at a A-list room. Mm -hmm. So everything that happened to me in my early years happened. When did you uh, start? How old were you? Uh, I, I was started 22. So I was like, it was 97, I believe. Uh, so 22. Was. So then this movie is like you at what age? Uh, this movie is me in my probably 20s. But... Um, See, it's a guy's perspective, right. but um, everything that happened over the course of the weekend happened to me. So people are like, there's no way that happened. It's like, no, it definitely happened. Like, there's this, <laughs> there's a scene where, uh, and th this happened in North Carolina. I was in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hmm. And at the time, at, at good nights, the club is upstairs, and downstairs is where everybody went to party. There was a bar downstairs. Right. Now there's like a thousand bars in Raleigh. But at the time, it was like the spot. So you do your show, you go downstairs. Shooting fish in a barrel. It right. was like a cute single girl. I, I'm young. At the, it was like it was right. awesome. It was on, right? Right. I walked down. There's this girl with the Daisy Dukes, and she got the cowboy nice. boots on. Every guy was like, "Oh!" And she just pointed at me, and she's like, "Come here." I was like, "Yes, I will." <laughs> walked over. Next thing I know, I'm in a car with her. We're going back to her place. I'm like, "This is great." And then we're on a highway. Then we're on a, like a somewhat busy road they want a, a, a side street then i'm on a dirt road i'm like right. are we on a dirt road where are you heading and we are in the woods right. in a, she I dropped off a, a trailer in the woods oh my god and i'm like where are we and but at the time it's like i don't right. care this is you're still thinking you're yeah, yeah, mid-20s whatever on, let's do it yeah <laughs> and we get in and i'm cracking open a beer and she's tearing down my pants this is within literally within two minutes i'm like this is great <laughs> all of a sudden i hear a truck and she's like oh no i'm like what she's like my boyfriend's home I'm like oh, your boyfriend my... she's like he's a marine he'll kill you i'm like yeah. what <laughs> and i jumped out of the window and i crawled under the trailer right and, died. and this was at by the way this is 98 99 maybe 2000 no cell phones i didn't right. have a cell phone at the time so i'm underneath there and i can't move because there's sticks and all this stuff right. everywhere and i go I'm upstairs arguing no the banging. banging. Oh my god! <laughs> so I got her primed, and he's oh, he 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 under the trailer. Like this is not. So I sat there. I think for I had to wait until they passed out, like another two, three hours. See, and then what do you do? Like That's a movie than a real I story. Ran, yeah. I ran. I ran for my life. Were you in a trailer park? Yeah, because because there were guns in the trailer too. Uh, this is all in the oh, uh, uh, guns. There were shells and stuff out and. Um, I, I, I ran and then I eventually got to a gas station and was able to get a cab home. But, right. you know, I was uh, dirty and everything. Which you totally awful. could have died that night. Totally could have died. Nobody would have known. In the woods. So you were under that trailer for a couple hours. Two hours at least. At least, yeah. That's a great that story. That legit happened to you. Is that the only time that ever happened And you got you? no buns. You got zippy buns. <laughs> Nothing happened. Zippy. Let's just take a, it. Was a, it was a nice hot shower after that. I had to take care of some bit. But, yeah. But I it bet. was. It, so all those things happened. And this. this because it's. Jimmy is the MC. Alex Moffat, who's on SNL, uh, mm -hmm. is the feature. Cedric the Entertainer is the headliner. And so the whole first half of the film is all the romanticism and optimism of like what stand up can be and the partying. Like, I'm going to move to New York and I'm going to be. A... And the back half is the Beating sobriety and solitude of like <laughs> yeah. hanging out with the headliner who's road weary and just over it and clocking in another weekend, you know? So then you got Bill Burr, Tom Segura. Ken Jeong, Whitney Cummings, Angela Johnson, Felipe Esparza, Eliza Schlesinger, uh, Brooks Whelan, uh, Neil. So do you just make call, just, calls? These are your friends? Are you, you paying all these people? A, what's that? Are you paying all these people? Are some of them doing uh, favors? No, they're not really getting paid. Okay. They're working for scale. They, gotcha. they know the deal. But uh, but the cast was crazy. And I think it was just like calling them up going, hey, can you do a day or two for me here? Can you do, you right. know, like Segura, can you do two days for me? He's like, yeah, this is great. And I think once once they all read it, that's when they were like, first off, I called them and they were like, yeah, definitely, that'd be fun. And it shoots in L.A., so it's easy. Oh, it's all me. in L.A., yeah. But and you have it already set up so that, you like, major companies going to distribute it and all that? How's uh, that work? Well, that's kind of like Vince Vaughn's. That's his Yeah, that's, area. that's where he takes produced. over, yeah. Now, when you but, say he produced it, did he put up the money? Is he putting up money for it? No, he basically orchestrated him and Peter Billingsley. He probably lines who, up the money. 
probably yeah yeah he got the financing and everything because right. mm -hmm. i had given him the script maybe two years ago he he was like i think he got something here and then um a year for a year i worked on it with him and his company see i've forgotten you originally were part of his comedy tour right i did the the wild west comedy tour after they did the documentary okay so one of the guys got sick and then i took over for him and just kind of which I know, like for, for us, I remember years ago, because I want to say it's like 15, one, one, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Maybe 15 years ago. I want to say maybe we had Vince Vaughn on the show. We definitely did. And they were like in Dewey Beach. Yes. I remember oh, that. Oh, during Wedding Crashers, they did a show. Yeah. I, I heard that one was crazy. That's true, because yeah. they did film Wedding Crashers in, in like the Eastern Shore. Yeah. So maybe that's when it was. It yeah. So you be. joined a little bit later. I joined a little bit later. Yeah. And he uh, he produced Sullivan and Son, which I had on the air for a few years. And uh, yeah, he's just been he, he's like literally one of those guys that is so positive, always encouraging. And then when I actually wrote this stuff, he was like, wow, I can't believe you actually did it. You know, <laughs> so many of my friends don't do it. But uh, he was very, very supportive. And and I think it's also I think it's a fun script, too. It's about pursuing your bliss. But what's the name the, of it? It's called The Opening Act. All right, I want to see it. 